Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to share the interview questions uh, shared by one of our subscriber. So uh, his name is Nikhil. He has got almost three plus years of experience and he has been given interviews from June to August month. And he also got offers from two good companies. Right. So he has uh, shared the interview questions which are pertaining to uh, Selenium plus Java automation. So what we are going to do is we are going to uh, share with you those interview questions. It is possible that you might get similar questions or you might get same questions. But this is how you will have to do the preparation if you are really looking for test automation kind of in job role. Okay, so let us look at these questions one by one. So introduce yourself. Tell me something about yourself. This is a common question that you will get irrespective of whether you are going for manual testing or automation testing kind of a performance testing kind of a uh, job interview. Explain your framework, your roles and responsibilities. So your day to day responsibilities, you will have to tell them. Okay, how do you start your day? Which are the different activities that you carry out like uh, uh, automation scripting, then test uh, code, then code review right then you would be performing unit testing then you would be you would be executing the test uh, via devops so all those things you will have to explain then let's cover the java questions after java we will come to selenium questions as well right uh, so these are the types of questions now let us look them one by one uh, how would you rate yourself in java so one being the lowest 10 being the highest this is how they will ask Tell me something about OOPS concept as a whole. Explain any two, two OOPS concepts. Explain individually inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, encapsulation, and how did you implement it in your project? What is the difference between method overloading and method overriding abstract class versus interface? Super keyword and comparison of super keyword with this keyword. Then construct explanation of constructor in detail, right? Then uh, explain collection difference between array list, link list, list set, set map, etc. Then Selenium related questions. How good are you read yourself? So again, uh, the the gist, the significance of asking this question is about the how confident you are about uh, Java or Selenium or the skill set which has been mentioned in your CV right so basic selenium related questions like quit close find element right so those are very basic then apart from that what framework you are using what is assert types of assertions soft assert versus hard assert how do you handle drop down in a multiple ways what exceptions you have faced what are the types of exceptions and you should also prepare how you have overcome that exception. Okay, for example, you are telling stale element reference exception, element not found exception. So how have you also overcome it? What is expected condition? Condition. Okay, so see, I was just mentioning about this kind of question, right? Then different way to send keys and get, get text, verification versus validation, how to mouse over syntax method, what challenges you have faced in Selenium, I think this is more of manual testing based, but uh, how to handle dynamic web table, types of weights, syntax, what is the difference between implicit, explicit weight, thread dot sleep, it's a disadvantages, what is test ng, then concepts like uh, priority, method, parallel testing, right? Then parameterization, data providers, how do you run positive test cases only? How to know failed test cases, right? How will you run only failed test cases? What if your test cases take long time? How will you manage it, right? So those kind of scenario-based questions you can expect. Or how will you execute your test uh, based on the module, based on functionality, based on some particular feature only? Let's say if I have 20 features in my application, but I want to run test only of for pertaining to three features, then how will you do that, right? What is Maven lifecycle? So I'll, I'll give you answer in a short that in a BDD framework, there are feature files that you will create, right? So in a test runner, you can just mention the tag 
for that feature which you want to execute or which you want to uh, validate via automation. So instead of running 20 feature files, just run the feature file for those scenarios covering those two or three features only, right? What is POM? Explain it, right? What is POM.xml, Cucumber, and flow of feature file step definition test runner, how to solve git merge conflict, commands of git, right? Okay, now few of the programming related questions can be asked. See, these are the Java programs. Okay, sorting number in array, order numbers within array, duplicate numbers, reverse number, reverse string, palindrome, find duplicate numbers characters and remove it, right? So these kind of programs they will give, but these kind of automation related questions can also be asked. Let's say they might ask you to share your screen. If it is Google Meet or Teams or Zoom, they might ask you to share your screen and you have to write syntax for uh, any, any URL they might give. And they will tell you to write XPath for that XYZ element. Then window handle and switching, alert handle, frame handle, navigation commands, action class, feature file for Cucumber, any one scenario they can give you, right? Then, so how will you write that feature file with given, when, then, and kind of keywords, right? Write script for data driven using data provider, write and execute quick script. They will give one website and we have to write a script and execute, right? So these kind of questions were asked to him uh, and he had been giving interviews from June, right? and uh, he got selected in two companies. So many, many congratulations, uh, Nikhil, and thank you so much for sharing these interview questions with us. I hope this will be helpful to the community. And if you are watching this video for the first time, so I would request you to like, share, and subscribe our uh, channel so that it can give us notification for coming with more videos like this. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, stay tuned for more updates.